volcanic highlands, the ground never fully cools. High above this unstable land, one animal has learned to live almost entirely within the sky, Charizard. At first glance, its size seems a contradiction. A body this heavy should struggle to remain airborne. But beneath the surface, powerful flight muscles anchor deep into a reinforced skeleton, spreading weight across the chest and shoulders. This is not an animal built for speed. It is built for endurance. The wings tell the rest of the story. Long bones and taut membranes form wings built for lift, not speed. Rather than fighting the air, Charizard is engineered to work with it. Even the flame at the tip of its tail is not a weapon here. It is excess internal heat released safely into the open air. As wind and oxygen shift, the flame responds instantly. When Charizard leaves the ground, power is used only once. Muscle, weight and timing combine lifting the body clear of the rock below. After that, the land does the work. Rising columns of warm air carry Charizard upward, allowing it to conserve energy while remaining aloft for hours. But this sky is not empty. From the cliffs surrounding the volcanic basin, another presence emerges. Aerodactyl, lighter, narrower, Faster, built for sudden movement, it thrives where agility matters more than strength. But this airspace is not unguarded. Aerodactyl tests the boundaries of the sky, moving carefully through air already claimed. But it understands the risk. In a direct confrontation, raw power would decide the outcome quickly. So it relies on speed. A brief display from Charizard is enough. Not a strike. A warning. Aerodactyl turns away. Choosing distance over dominance, Charizard remains. Here, where the Earth itself feeds the wind. Patience, efficiency, and power held in reserve. Decide who rules the air.